Hi, it's Jennifer Atherton. Today we're gonna do Think and Grow Rich Workbook. I should have this available on my website. We're working on it. I need to hire some more people to help me live the life of my dreams. Um, but yeah, this will be available at shopgenstore.com. So this is a new workbook, but um, let's just go through it before I put it up on my store. You can get it on Amazon. Everybody reads Think and Grow Rich, right? If you don't, you should. Some, I said that once in an interview and they're like, I've never read that book before. So people that want to succeed in life and kind of move forward, read the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So that's really nice to read. And I love reading. I love reading books. Like if Ricky Carruth for becoming a millionaire real estate agent came out with a workbook like this, like that would be really fun for us to actually work and build something together. So I'm really happy uh, that could be a project in the future. Let's do the Think and Grow Rich workbook because I know y'all thinking about how you can get richer. So let's get right into it. <clears throat> Um, the Think and Grow Rich Workbook for use with Think and Grow Rich. The workbook is intended for use with the classic book of achievement, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. For the last five years, I have been conducting study groups about the original book, and I created this workbook as a teacher's guide. Ooh, my favorite. I love teaching or teacher's guide to help conduct these groups. Uh, though the original book contains information and techniques required to be successful, I use the workbook as a way to cover the essential material and introduce other information that is relevant to achieving the success of one's aim in life. Hey, KGR underscore KB, what up? Thank you so much for joining my live. Thank you. Let's do this Think and Grow Rich workbook. Uh, though there is space after each question to record an answer, I suggest you use a notebook or journal to record your answer. So everyone could just, you could just do a journal with me and just record your answers on your own or in your phone or in your notebook, whatever. Or just in your head. Sometimes it's just like processing stuff in your head and then you can rewatch these videos and go over it again. Um, I have discovered that my desires and wishes have changed over time and that even one trip through the text or workbook can alter what I initially thought my desires were. Think and Grow Rich is a process of development. Each time I expose myself to and use the material, I grow as a person. So will you. Anybody can wish for riches, and most people do, but only a few know that a definite plan plus a burning desire for wealth and the only dependent are the only dependable means of accumulating wealth. So you got to plan and then you got to have burning desire. That's in all caps. Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom. I have constructed this workbook to follow the organization of the book. Each chapter of the workbook follows the book and is divided into three parts. Text from the original book is italicized and placed under the section labeled review. Under the sections labeled notes, I have written interpretations and other helpful notes to better understand the chapters. These sections are called exercises or question tools and technique from the book and other sources I have found to be very useful to help you discover things about yourself that will help uh, you achieve your chief aim in life. Be great, this is applied knowledge. That's real power, real powerful stuff coming up. Yep, thank you for noticing that. Um, after teaching this class for several years and helping hundreds of people discover the principles in the original text, I feel this book lays out the most effective way for you to understand and start to use. Understand and start to use the principles shared in Think and Grow Rich. Anyways, there are 12 aspects of wealth. Positive mental attitude. Sound health. Harmony in human relations, freedom from fear, hope of future achievement, capacity for applied faith, willingness to share one's beliefs with others, by engaging in a labor of love, an open mind towards all subjects, towards all people, complete self-discipline, 
wisdom to understand people, and financial security. Note, money comes last in this list. It's kind of better if you see it. There are 12 aspects of wealth. And the last one's money. Okay, chapter one. Introduction. Review. One of the main weaknesses of mankind is the average man's familiar, familiarity with the word impossible. He knows all the rules which will not work. He knows all the things which cannot be done. Success comes to those who become success conscious. Failure comes to those who indiffer indifferently allow themselves to become failure conscious. Another weakness found in all Altogether, too many people is the habit of measuring everything and everyone by their own impressions and beliefs. Our brains become magnetized with the dominating thoughts which we hold in our minds, and by means of which no man is familiar, these magnets attract to us the forces, the people, the circumstances of life, which harmonize with the nature of our dominating thoughts. Notes. In the introduction, Hill in introduces us to Ed Barnes, a man who, with a burning desire to work with Edison, R.U. Darby, a man who quit three feet from gold, and then a little girl who stopped a grown man in his tracks a few years later by refusing to take no for an answer. PMA, what does PMA stand for? There are a few important parts to each of these stories that help us discover the basic elements to success. Ed Barnes has to travel from Chicago to New Jersey with just the hope of being able to meet Edison, in spite of the fact that he has no funds to do so. He took a risk that if he could, he took a risk that he would not get the opportunity. When he did get the opportunity, it was a as a janitor and took five years in the position before the opportunity came. He was humble and persistent knowing that his opportunity would arise. R.U. Darby and his uncle headed out west to strike gold. When they had found a small vein, they uh, borrowed money from friends and family and bought mining equipment to mine more gold from the vein, but the vein ran dry. They drilled and drilled, but did not find gold. And quit. A junk man had bought the mining equipment and the claim from the men at a small percentage of what it cost them to obtain. He then hired a geological expert to examine the claim who told him that the vein had shifted just three feet. And if he moved his drills, he would strike gold and strike gold he did and it was an extremely productive mine. All it took was determination not to quit and the advice of an expert to find gold. Oopsies. That's like Filoli in the Bay Area. It was like a gold mine, and then they ran out of gold, and he hired like five geologists, and he's like, find the gold. Find the gold. And they just kept going until they found another vein and just built this beautiful mansion and gardens and home. And yeah, just literally, you're just paying people, paying people to find where the vein is. And then you just make so much money back, it's not even funny. Hi, Michael. Talking about gold mines. There are still gold mines in like Placerville and stuff. It's pretty crazy. Um, hi. All it took was, the, okay, the third person we are introducing to was a small black girl, the daughter of a sharecropper, who used her determination and refusal to accept no as an answer to subdue a quick-tempered white man. Though he had instructed her to leave and he had indicated he was going to beat her, she stood her ground and got what she wanted. She refused to take no for an answer. The introduction starts to set the tone of the book that with a definite purpose, persistence, and a burning desire, one can achieve anything. So here's the exercise. Get out your notebook or whatever. Answer the following questions about on as honestly as possible. Don't worry if you think the answers are silly or unrealistic. The workbook is about you. 
what do you want and what do you need to develop to get it? Is there anyone you know who is like Edwin Barnes who refuses to give up their dream? Who? Write it down. Have you known anyone who quit too soon? Who and why do you think so? Write it down. Have you ever known anyone who refuses to take no for an answer? Give me an example. And you can put it in the notes below or um, write it down, share, don't have to share, whatever. But I'm sure um, we all have kind of similar answers. Are you success conscious? And if so, what do you do to maintain that state of mind? That's a really good one. Are you success conscious? And if so, what do you do to maintain that state of mind? Are you the dominating thoughts? Or what are the dominating thoughts of your mind currently? What are? I wonder if we all have the same dominating thoughts. Well, it's probably about money if you're listening to Think and Grow Rich. Like, is the world's dominating thought, I need more money? <laughs> like, could everyone say that might be a dominating thought? And then family. <laughs> Are you obsessed with any desire? If so, describe uh, what your desire is below. Jennifer Atherton, 333 Atherton Ave in Atherton, California. And that's chapter one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back tomorrow with chapter two. You know, rewatch this as much as you want to, but we're really going to dive deep into what you want to do and accomplish with your life and thinking about, thinking about becoming a richer person and what is a great way to do that that's the easiest, uh, fastest way possible. And that's why I really love this book. I could do one complete sitting but it's kind of nice just to go through because it gets really really deep um i hope you enjoy this book this is gonna be a really really fun ride thank you so much for doing it with me and i can't wait to see what your comments are below and the more you share i feel like the more you grow and we're just meant to like just kind of share our story in this journey anyways um, we're going to go uh, study for the mortgage test, so see you later if you want to follow me. Oh, follow me on Snapchat, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, please. Jennifer Atherton or Jen in Sacktown. If you need any uh, real estate help, real estate and mortgage help, shoot me a DM. Okay. God bless you. God bless America. Bye, guys.